for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymadencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with a Mad Ultimate video. Trying to get back into the swing of things, you know. I feel like the momentum of our channel is very, very down right now. I mean, compared to how I was doing prior, my videos are very, very low. Um, so I'm going to try to get back into the swing of things, try to get this back on track. So today I'm going to be talking about the market and how I feel it's trending because the market is like on a weird swing right now. I'm going to get into that in a second. I kind of predicted this a while ago, but it wasn't a hard prediction to make. I mean, most people probably thought it anyways. But before I get into this video, guys, make sure to comment and like. So I'm going to try to get the Q&A out this week, by the way. And if you guys get to, uh, you know what I'll do? I'll do this. So I'll do what I did last time. Comment down below 10K. And if we get to 150 likes and whoever comments below 10K, I will randomly pick two people to give 10K to. So if this gets 150 likes and you guys both comment 10K, I'll be dropping 10K to two random guys. That's it. And make sure to comment, like, as per usual, and subscribe genuinely anyways. Trying to get back on track. Trying to hit 2K by the end of this month. So hopefully we can hit 2K. In the next 10 days or ish, hopefully. You never know. I mean, it's a little slow right now, but let me get into this video. So, first off, going to the market. Kind of what I had predicted prior to when I left for LA. Very, very, very similar. So, I at one point said that the 98s were trending down. They had to trend down. Specifically, one guy. So, I'll show you as I get there. So, this Deacon Jones, I don't even think I was around for it, to be honest, with this Chad Ochocinco, but they're there now. Very, very cheap. I really like this Deacon. Would I buy any of these cards yet? Probably still wait. Man, still going down slowly, so I'd probably wait. Now, if you go up, though, to this Michael Vick, I told you guys that within the next week, before I left, Michael Vick was going to go below 500, below 600, and there it is. It's starting, so I definitely want to pick up a Vick. I just don't know when I will pick up a Vick, but I definitely want to pick one up at some point, but he's just currently going down. I haven't really played online anyway, so I might just wait on that. That Vic's going to keep going down. The only shot he has of going up is if some crazy new thing comes out with Vic or whatever. But I doubt it. Doubt that happens. That might be one of his final upgrades for the year, too, unless he gets a golden ticket. There's Orange Tail. I told you guys it would be below 700 pretty soon. And I told I always told you he was going to be about 100k above Vic. Because I, I explained this in prior videos that Vic is not as overpowered this year as Lawrence Taylor is. So I kind of I kind of already got that clear. It's Chris Carter. I don't know if that's new. I have not seen that. I don't know, because I've, I've been off this past week. Very weird. Still got to get that Odell. So upset I couldn't get that Kronk. Very, very upset. I could have had a really good team and wave of players coming in right there. Right now, if I had done those, but I wasn't home. Still want this Odell. Now, if I were the 98s, go 99s. I wouldn't touch any of them. I'd wait. These cards, are, this, when series, the next series comes out, it might kill the market a little more. I'd wait. See what the next series has to offer first, and then go full swing investing and stuff. I'd wait until then. But for now, the market is dying. Now, the 97s are pretty freaking cheap. So, as I have told you guys a hundred times, which again is common knowledge, nothing special. It was just that the team MVPs were going to crash once scouts went away. Because I told you these cards weren't that good to be where they were. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I told and th these are still too expensive. I'd still wait. These cards, like I said... We're going to come down to the price of the 97 Ultimate Legends. Slowly, once scouts went away. And that happened pretty fast, actually. So, David Johnson at 275. These cards were above 400 well over a few days ago and a week ago. At least when I last saw. And now look at them. Now, I did tell you guys the better cards will retain some value. Such as Elliot will retain some value just because his name is Ezekiel Elliott. Um, Khalil Mack, I said, will retain value. Deshaun Watson... I said we'll retain value, and Lamar Jackson obviously isn't going to lose any value for now because he is too overhyped. Now, Julio is actually retaining some decent value too, but like I said, these are, these are going to keep coming down. So I, proje I project predict that these um, these base ones right here will come down to about like 240, 230 over the next coming days. They have to. I mean, MVPs might be hard to come by, I guess, in Ultimate Legends at the time being, but still, there's no way they're staying up because... They're not that good. Like, they're good cards. They're cool for themed teams. They're cool for regular teams. But the thing is, is that Ultimate Legends are equally as good, if not better. So why would why would these be... It's by training, too. The price of the 97 overall training goes for 210k, as you guys can see. So they're going to come down. I wouldn't buy these yet. I'd wait for the next series for that, too. Now, if you look at here, the Ultimate Legends. We got Bill Romanowski coming at 208. I told you guys these would be hidden below 200k soon. I thought they'd be hit below 180, but I guess the market isn't as powerful and trendy as it used to be. 
But these are going to come down too. These are going to come down below 200k. It's just a matter of time. Slowly but surely, they're coming. And now, if you go down to the higher cards, where are they? Are there any like specifically valuable cards anymore? I guess not, right? They're all kind of bunched in now because I guess nothing, nothing too new right now. Let's look at the 98 ones. These 98 legends. I went, I went through these before, but what I didn't point out was is that the high, the higher priced ones, I wouldn't touch either. Like the Mean Joe Green. The Mean Joe Green is awesome and all, and the Larry Allen's awesome, but they're coming down. So just remember, wait, they're all gonna be at some point. Their value is here. Their training value is right about here. So I'd wait for all of them. Don't make the mistake. Just keep waiting. You spend now, you're going to regret later because these cards are not worth it. They're just not at this point of the year. We're literally, I mean, Lawrence Taylor and Vic are pretty worth it. But like at this point in the year, any card could be that card. Like you could literally power up any card to be a lot of these cards right here. So like I would just wait on those. Now coming down a little bit more. These cards are the cards that never move. Oh, excuse me. These cards never move at all. 106 is a slight moving. These cards always stay between 105 and like 120. These cards, they're hard to move. Training will keep them up just enough, but they're getting pulled enough to keep them a little down. So they're like, like a, this is like an even medium for them. Don't recommend buying these cards. Don't recommend investing in these cards or even using them for training. Maybe you can use them for your team. That's about it. But I would not touch them at all. These are definitely not worth it. Now, if we come down, I always do that. I don't know why. I don't know when I'll learn that that is not a filter for these cards at all. Okay, so here. These cards, again, don't move. Like, they just don't move. So, for right now, as far as investing goes and team building goes, I would just stay with the 96 and 97s and the 98s and 99s because that is kind of where the, the market moves right now. It's just hard for these cards to move. It really is. How, how much lower can they really? How much lower can a 90 overall really go? I mean, I guess they can come down to like 25k, but like, again, that's still a reduction, not gonna make you too much. A Vic, that filter I told you guys with the Vic still works because Vic still goes for more than a bunch. As as uh, you know, it's pretty obvious because this car goes for a lot. Lawrence Taylor's card actually doesn't go for too much, as much as I thought he'd go for, but still up there because those sets still cost a lot. So you sniping those pieces are still good. Now. Coming over to the team builders. The team builders. Not the fill there. Hold up. Okay, 72k. These are actually pretty decent prices for a 92 overall. I mean, for the team builders at least. But they gotta come, they're gonna come down to like I've been telling you guys. Because now that they're no they're still useful for the set, so that's gonna keep them up for now. Once everything's gone, like once every P dies down a little bit, and this all dies down. These are going to come down a pretty pretty good amount more because they, they shouldn't maintain that value. They're just there because they're set pieces. Look at these. These are pretty. These are expensive as hell as a point too. These are way down, but I'd still wait. These are coming down even more. Just wait up on that. These are coming down probably to like 95 to 105 k somewhere between there. Don't touch these yet. If you want them for your team, just wait up. If you don't want patience, they're still good. If you're not patient, these are still good prices, but I definitely wait. I haven't decided which, which way I should take my team with, but once this market settles, I will decide which way I'm going with my team. Now, as to the lower pieces, I'm pretty sure these haven't really moved either. Yeah, they're kind of based, to be honest. Like, these aren't going to move. As per usual, the lower pieces are not going to be moving too much, so I wouldn't even bother with these. Like, obviously, you could snipe them for, like, 11, 12K, and then put them back up for 18, 19, 20. But, like, you guys know that's common knowledge already. But from a investment standpoint you don't invest in these cards they're not going to go up too much they're not going to go down too much they're going to stay kind of kind of stagnant for the most part i'll take it down one more notch although it's not really necessary these get yeah, 12k not moving it's about it now should i go open some packs to try to test my luck for a rob gronkowski is he still in packs i'm pretty sure he is right i'm gonna go test my luck for a rob gronk i just want one one big pull this year I have not got one full piece pull like of Ultimate Legend. I have not gotten one eleven at a time in like seven years. Like this is unreal already. Just give me something. Am I opening the wrong packs? Is that it? Now guys, don't open packs. I tell you guys, opening packs is the dumbest thing you could do. I just have a good amount of coins and a good team, so I'm not too worried about it. I just want to pull something for the video. But for you guys, do not open packs. And Elite, we get Derrick Henry. All right. Why well, couldn't at least be the team of the week one? All right, one more. So 
Am I opening the wrong packs? Like, if he's just not the packs where you pull things out of? Because I pulled Jack out of this all year. I pulled nothing. Like, I usually make my money back. Pretty much. Ooh. Okay, that's not horrible. I mean, like, it's not great. But yeah, I usually I usually make my money back. Like, there, I'll make my money back. And maybe make a little more. But I never, like, pull that pull that everyone, like, wants to put on Twitter and stuff. Like, I never get that great pull. I wish I could. I don't even need the coins. I just want it just because because I want it. Like, I've never pulled one. That's, oh, my God. I, I'm, I'm going to get one this year. And if not, I'm getting one next year for a fact. There's no way I go dry too. I go dry all these years. I've been playing since Madden 13. I still haven't gotten one. All right, so that's about it for this video, guys. Just trying to explain the market for you guys. And my advice and tips on what to do with the market. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below 10K. Do not forget. 10k to be entered and we need 150 likes so don't forget that make sure to subscribe i really want to hit 2k this week or by the end of this month and i'm really trying but it's kind of slow only getting like five yesterday which is a big drop off from the 180 we gained like the week before that in one day so hopefully we can pick that back up again so guys thank you so much for watching i'm out see you guys later